if you've ever copied and pasted from Word document or a graphics package, you have enough experience to animate a sprite sheet. And in this tutorial, I'm going to cover, just give an overview of how to do that using this graphic. You might want to pause the video, take a print screen, print it out, because we'll be referring back to this quite often. It's very simple, and the basics are the coordinates of your source rectangle where you're copying from, and your destination rectangle where you're pasting to. And we're going to be using a different, slightly different form of our draw bitmap method. And if you look over here at the Android documentation, you've got all these different types of uh, draw bitmaps. And we used the one before where we were drawing a bitmap to a coordinate on our canvas. But this time around, we're gonna be defining rectangle objects at the source, which is this rectangle, and a rectangle object at the destination. And the variables we're going to be using at the source, since Android will be choosing which graphics uh, image is more suitable for our display. So here is the um, high resolution, up here you've got the medium, and here is uh, another de density resolution. And we don't have much control over that, but what we do have control over is the number of, um, well, the design of our sprite sheet. We have an, a very well-structured sprite sheet with four columns and eight rows. And to find our source rectangle dimensions, what we can do is find programmatically the sprite sheet width, that's what this is, SS width, and the sprite sheet height, SS height. And up here you can see simple mathematics for our sprite sheet. The height of one of our rectangles is our sprite sheet, well, the variable is a sprite frame. I'm going to call these rectangles sprite frames for our animation purposes at the source, and its height is equal to the sprite total sprite sheet height divided by eight rows. And a similar calculation for our sprite frame source width is the sprite sheet width divided by four rows. And that will give us the dimensions of this sprite frame. And I'll, I'll go over all of this in the next few tutorials, so uh, don't panic if I'm going a bit too fast. This source frame, we're gonna reference its top left corner with the coordinates sprite frame source y position for the y coordinates, and the x coordinate as the source frame source x position. So whichever of these images Android decides to pick, we'll always be confident enough to know that that we can calculate these values to copy this square. And if we follow all of these red lines all the way across over to the right hand side at the destination, we have a similar layout. So we have our canvas width, our canvas height, and we're pasting our sprite frame at the coordinates destinations, destination coordinates, sprite frame destination y position, sprite frame destination x position, and we have free reign over the dimensions of this frame as it appears. Even though Android has chosen the source image, we still have control over it, what it looks like on a destination. So you could set the sprite frame destination height equal to the source frame, uh, sprite frame source height, or you could double it. Or um, what I like to do is, is to tie it down and define the height and width of this in density pixels. Here's a preview of, of what you'll have and what you're capable of at the end of this tutorial sub series. So we'll be animating these sprites and you can see that uh, by going along this row we can, can we'll be able to control the speed of the animation. So you've got uh, fast animation on this very large sprite and you've got slower animation on this uh, smaller sprite. And some of these I've kept the same. Well this one I've kept the same as the source. Uh, this is a large one, so I've multiplied uh, it by two. And the smaller ones, I've defined them as density pixels. And I think it's it's safer to do that. So when you're calculating uh, collisions or just general gameplay, Android will look after the scaling for you. Pretty cool. And we'll start coding this in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.